Please remain seated. The show will begin in three, two. Like a bell cut. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Fam Traveler 87 and welcome back to my channel. Alright, so today I will be doing my analysis of the new Pinocchio trailer for this year that Disney Plus is releasing on September 8th. Now, I'm just going to get right into it. I normally don't do um, analysis for films normally, but I decided that, well, I'm really curious about this movie in particular and I'm I'm just actually really happy that Disney is actually coming out with a release of this movie. And I know they've done a lot of great movies in the past. Now, I know there's been some controversial things um, circulating in the comment section of other channels and stuff. And some people are not too crazy about the looks of what's in the trailer. But I'm just going to give my own perception and just tell you what I'm thinking. Because, honestly, I've got no issues at all, personally, as far as what the presentation is for the trailer. So, I'm just going to get right into it. So, here we go. Okay, so the first thing that I want to go over is the CGI animation for this film. Usually when I watch any... Disney trailer on a new release as far as a live action remake of a film like from the old cartoons I look at the presentation as far as the design of the character and I have to say for someone such as myself who has seen the original cartoon from 1940 I have to say and I'm gonna be totally honest with you I am impressed with the overall look of how they designed Pinocchio in this film. Now, some might say that the CGI animation for this character is a bit creepy and unsettling. I personally don't see it that way. My impression of it is that, you know, in its own way, it's very charming and it's cute. And I personally don't have an issue with it. So, I'm just going to leave it at that. And the next thing that I'm going to look over is the casting and what my opinion of that is. Because I know that it's been brought up in a few uh, comments somewhere um, and on another channel. So, I'm going to go over that one too. Okay, kudos to Disney for casting Tom Hanks to play Geppetto in this film. I absolutely love this actor. He's brilliant in every film that he does. And I'm just so ecstatic about this. I can't wait to see where it goes. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this particular casting role. And you know what? I'm, you know, I'm hoping that I'm sure that a lot of you are pretty happy about it too. I mean, who doesn't want to cast Tom Hanks in a Disney film? I mean... I'm sure that a lot of people really love this guy. I know I do because I grew up watching his movies all the time. And, well, alright. Moving on now. Alright, so there's been some mixed opinions on the casting choice for this particular film. And look, I know it's obvious that an African-American actress was chosen for the role to be the Blue Fairy. I personally don't have an issue with it. I'm sure that a lot of you don't. Because I'm not going to be looking at the skin color, obviously. I care about, the, as far as the talent and the drive and the passion that this person will have to bring this character to life. And as someone who appreciates the old films of Disney, as far as the 1940s cartoon version of Pinocchio, honestly... With both of these, from like cartoon and live action, it's almost very hard to compare the both of them. I don't really think there is really a fair comparison. Because, I don't know. It I guess it just depends on how you really look at it. But, I'm optimistic. And, honestly, it makes no major difference to me of what the Blue Fairy looks like. 
And, you know, I'm just going to be, like, totally uh, frank with you. I'm just, I'm honestly, I'm really excited about it. For the record, I have seen Disney's Beauty and the Beast with Emma Watson and Dan Stevens. I thought they were fantastic with their roles in that film. And the costume design, the plot, the music, the songs, all of it was pretty fantastic. And, you know, I really highly appreciate that film. And I, I'm not all that familiar with Luke Evans in exception to that movie where he did play Gaston. And honestly, I thought he did brilliantly. Bringing, you know, with the finesse in his personality and just just fantastic. So potentially, I think that he would make a good coachman in the 2022 Disney's Plus Pinocchio film. So I'm anxious and I'm eager to see what he brings to the table. So we'll just have to wait and see. All right, moving on. I've been a fan of this character for many years since after watching the 1940s cartoon Disney version of the story. I do like the overall design of Jiminy in this picture. I don't really have any issues with it, honestly, so I don't have any complaints here. Now, maybe some people aren't a big fan of how he looks um, in the image, but... And as far as in the trailer is concerned, but... And I don't quite recall who is voicing him in the new film. But if anyone who does know at the top of their head, just run it by me in the comment section, because I am pretty curious. Alright, let's continue. Alright, judging what I know about the original film from 1940, and what I've seen from the trailer for this film... The plots are pretty much similar. There might be a few little twists and turns in the remake live action version of the original cartoon. And I'm sure there might be new songs added. But I'm pretty sure they might add in I've Got No Strings that Pinocchio sings in the cartoon. I'm pretty sure they might add that one in. I'm not 100% certain. But I really cannot wait to see this film. So, okay. Alright, so I gotta be totally open-minded. I know Disney has had its issues with what many describe as being woke nowadays. Especially with recreating old classics and making them to live-action films. I honestly... I, I know they're a big corporation who love to make lots of money... Because, you know, the capitalism and all that. But, I just, I focus on watching films like this because it's nostalgia for me. It's my childhood. And I've just, I've learned to look past whatever issue that Disney may have with politics. I'm going to say there are some bad apples in every tree. In every tree of a corporation or a major company that does filming like with Pixar or Netflix or Hulu, any streaming service, there sometimes there are rotten apples in the group somewhere. But honestly, with me watching Disney films and especially the old cartoons and all these live action remakes, it's the nostalgia for me that I focus more on. The creativity and the passion and just the, the, the whole magic of being able to see old cartoons being remade into live action. There are some flaws in most companies out there that are going to spark some controversial subjects and problems. But I don't hate the company personally i know they have i know again they have issues but there are plenty of other trees out there that grow bad apples not all of them but there are some of them that do so really i honestly this is the end of my analysis of the new pinocchio trailer for 2022 for disney plus i hope you enjoyed it Again, guys, I'm not trying to offend anyone. This is just my opinion. All right. Thank you very much.